Washington Post, blacks die sooner than whites. How many votes has this cost Democrats? This is an honest-to-God story. Dean Robinson. Black people in the U.S. continue to be sicker and die sooner than whites. Blacks suffer from excess mortality, that is, black deaths, that would not have occurred had the death rate among blacks been the same as that among whites. So we have here, as now documented in the Washington Post, yet another terrible inequity that is distinctly American. The death rate inequality. So now we even need quotas when it comes to the death rate. But then this guy goes on to talk about what the biggest practical application of this news is and the biggest problem it portends. What are the political consequences of excess mortality among blacks? A new article by Javier Rodriguez, Arlene Geronimus, and John Bound and Danny Dorling, Black Lives Matter, Different Mortality, and the Racial Composition of the U.S. Electorate, 1970-2004, answers the question. It finds that excess mortality among blacks reduces their voting power significantly, perhaps costing Democrat candidates several elections. Think I'm making this up? Another terrible inequality, distinctly American, traced right back to our founding, the death rate inequality. The black death rate, together with the black rate of incarceration, is costing the Democrats 15% of the vote. According to this, from the article, the authors of this study, Rodriguez and colleagues, estimate that combining excess mortality with the consequences of felon disenfranchisement, they find that about one in seven blacks, 15%, did not have the opportunity to vote in 2004 for one of these two reasons. Isn't that terrible? Democrats lost 50, this is all that matters, are the number one reality from the death rate inequality is the votes it cost the Democrat Party. Democrats lost 15% of their voters because they were either dead or in jail. I, hold on, I know, I hear what you're shouting at your radio. Hang on, I'm getting there. I'm going to get there. It's real simple if you just wait for me. I know what you're all said, the giant A word. Hang in there and be tough. No wonder Obama and Hillary and George Soros want to empty the prisons. No wonder they want to open the borders. Their number one constituency group is unfairly dying prematurely and unfairly incarcerated as felons, which means they can't vote. As the article basically sums up at the bottom, we have to control our racist police and let more blacks out of prison in order to save our democracy. And I'm not making this up. Just like an attack on roses and flowers for Mother's Day. How's that hurting anybody? What in the world? I don't care if greeting card companies and flower companies created Mother's Day. doesn't matter. It's a time-honored tradition. Everybody enjoys it. It doesn't harm anybody. Yes, it does, Rush. What about the people who don't have mothers? What do you mean, what about the people who don't have mothers? Everybody's got a mother. Well, yeah, but maybe some don't know. It doesn't matter. Everybody has a mother. It's the one thing you can't get past. No matter what you do with marriage, no matter what you do with all these things and how to decimate all these institutions, the one thing you can't deny is everybody has a mother and father. No matter what else you try to create. So they're trying to attack Mother's Day, flowers. It's an American institution. It's under assault. And now... The black death rate is apparently much higher than the white death rate. That's the fault of America because of racist cops, the story says, and unfair incarceration. And the the talking point is what it costs the Democrat Party. The Washington Post, are that when they say black lives matter, is what they really mean black votes matter? Is that all black people represent in the Democrat Party? How the hell... You come up with these statistics and have as your number one concern the fact that the Democrat Party is losing votes and maybe losing elections. I would love for every African American in the country to hear this. You realize the Democrats are concerned about the 
unequal death rate in your population? You know why? They're losing votes, that's all. That's why they're opening the southern border and letting a wave of uneducated, ill-equipped, and unskilled people in because you people aren't living long enough. And that's why they want to let felons out of jail. That's why they want to open the jails because they're losing out on votes. That's all you mean to them.